This college football picks week six edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. Winning season is back, and MyBookie is now offering a 100% deposit bonus when you use the promo code SGP. That's MyBookie.ag promo code SGP to play, win, and get paid. We're also brought to you by Thrive Fantasy. Thrive Fantasy is a new daily fantasy sports app built specifically for player props. Download the app in the App Store and use promo code SGP for an instant deposit match up to fifty dollars. That's ThriveFantasy.com promo code SGP. Sign up and prop up today. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in pay per head providers, and they make it super easy to start your own sportsbook. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at AcePerHead.com/sgp. That's AcePerHead.com/sgp. Ooh, welcome everyone to the sports. Gambling podcast. I'm Sean. Second, the money greens. Our partner picks Brian. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer dog? Howdy, Sean. How's feeling, it going? I'm feeling delicious right now. You know why? Why is that? One of us is near sixty percent at their college football oh picks this God. year. One of us. One of us. I Not think, all of us. One of us. Well, maybe it's uh, the pick Dundee, aka Colby Dant, aka the Dantabase. <laughs> What's up, guys? I like to just le- le- let that thing play Col- out. Colby's, Colby's doing great. 54.5%. percent I, I know uh, this is just on the podcast picks. He's yeah, crushing say, it doing over a lot better. on the yeah, picks yeah. page, sports gambling podcast.com slash college football picks. Uh, Sean, but I I'm sitting at 59% right yeah. now. Yeah. 12, 26, 18 and four ATS. As they say, coming off a double lock salute. And uh, we all hit our three primary locks. So, uh, oh, that's right. Kudos a team to effort. us. Great job. Mm. Great. Gr- see that? I was about to say, I do see some red, some glaring red. Sure. Well, there, yeah. Right? Col- right. If you want to leave with the positive, <laughs> uh, I think Colby and I were hitting our locks at a whopping 75%. Oh, here goes the, the part where he spells team with all the eyes. I'm leading the dog column with 50%. Colby, though, dominating the teases, Always. 75%. Teases and his bonus lock seventy five percent. I've not hit a three team tease yet. Uh, Ryan, not a great time for your locks or bonus locks, but your bonus locks actually are sixty seven percent. So come on, <laughs> actually, well, backhanded compliments. Lock dog and tease. You're twenty five percent on locks, thirty three percent on dogs, twenty five percent. I was on tees. happy we sixty seven percent on bonus locks. I was really happy we swept the lock as a team. I agree. Week. And I was happy I got the double lock thanks to the great Les Miles oh, man. for continuing yeah. to wow. be a coach. We can fade every week. And by the way, I mean, look. T- and lastly, I'm very disappointed. Colby made us pick Mississippi yes. State last week when yep. we knew it was the ultimate fade job. Dude. Are we are we ringing a cowbell right now? No, and that's not be and it's not because we don't have a cowbell. Multiple people have reached out. We are getting cowbells in the studio. We're not ringing it because <laughs> Mississippi State did not win. The ringing of the cowbell is a it, it's a privilege, not a right. What? Mississippi State needs to win the game if Dude, they want to hear the and, cowbell. And the and the, the fans were like, "You better mention the air raid." I never called for Mississippi State to go undefeated this year. I had them o- on the over by one, but by one win. Uh, Here's the way it works. What's that? People get upset when you make strong opinions, mm. and when you're right about something, of course, we're going to remind you strongly about our opinion. Well, so when we're wrong, we can say, "Yeah." You don't have to. You don't have to say that. Cole. Well, you don't have to say, the air raid was not wrong. They they, they outgained te- Arkansas yeah, by so two hundred yards. So we don't have to address yeah. it like something horrible happened. Other than it was a letdown spot. It made sense that they they laid an egg. You can't and, turn the ball over five times against and, anybody. And yeah. when you compound the fact that the quarterback played a really really bad game, it's a losing effort. Yeah. Now, so as kudos, Coach kudos Leach would Sam say, Pittman. as yeah. Coach Leach would say, well, on to the next week. And we have to get better this week. We didn't get better last week. We need well, to get better. This yeah, week. and Costello back to back games with the pick six. Like just don't you know, don't he can't throw a pick six. I actually think the other two interceptions were worse because they were about to score. Yeah. And it's like you throw it in the triple coverage and, and like it wasn't even like third down. Just throw the ball away. Throw the ball away. Yeah. One, wonder yeah. if this guy is also into crab legs. <laughs> deep dive that one. A little bit of shades of Jameis Winston with the uh, turnovers <laughs> and yet insane uh, production overall. But uh, we'll get to Mississippi State later on the program. I'm sure Colby has him on the sheet. Before we get it's to the games, for, before content. you hit that button, Sean, I, I want I want to <laughs> selfishly bring up my Hokies. Again, I there have been years, as we said, when, when Virginia Tech wasn't supposed to be all that good. 
when things happen. A lot of questions about the coaches, Bud Foster leaving. A lot of co- not really a lot sure. Of COVID questions. And then it turns out, you know, the the epicenter of COVID in college football is in clearly in yeah. Blacksburg, Virginia. <laughs> they at have a, not. At a, at a sheets gas station. I got a feeling sure, love, right? love sheets. Uh, they, they were way ahead of their time with the computer ordering the made the MTO for, for the older generation. It was a, it was a different time. You could order double meat and double cheese with just the click of a button. So good. Uh, all the COVID they haven't been with their starting quarterback who by wow. the way, doesn't lose all the time. Last week, they literally were playing walk Sean. They were playing Rudy style walk-ons top seven so tw- quarterbacks. 20 were players. Out. Sounds familiar. 21 right? players yeah. on a roster and two and two coaches. Week one was 23 players. And so four all of coaches. this is happening yeah. and they're still winning fucking football games. Well, dude, I had them as my six pack and do, I changed them late. Do, should I start? Should I start the aggressive hype train or is it too early? I'd say I'd wait till this week. Wait, okay, wait okay. till this week because Duke is Because I see Clemson on the schedule later when it's going to be a little colder in Blacksburg and it's going to be a night game and that crowd is going to be rowdy. Cause as we saw last week, I tweeted this out T Higgins of Clemson. Where did he call out as the loudest place to play in college football? Blacksburg, uh, Virginia. Did. Uh, are you guys yeah. gonna have fans there? Because aren't isn't the outbreak pretty bad? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, yeah, good stereo. You got speakers. I, good speakers. I, you're gonna this j- is not a political statement, <laughs> but if you're Blacksburg right now, don't you maybe look into the herd immunity situation? The whole get team. ready for Clemson. There should be exemptions for really big games, <laughs> just like uh, the coaches. You know, they wear the mask unless they have to yell at the ref. Then they're allowed to take down the mask. I don't know if you've seen that trend where it's like yeah. they wear the mask for half the game and then just pull it down. And yelled there, oh man! The and we've tweeted some of it, probably some on Instagram, but uh, there was a trend at the Georgia game <laughs> where uh, I don't know where they got a hold of these, but guys instead of wearing masks were wearing clear dog-like cones on their heads. Listen to add as a spit guard, which makes the dog surgery cones. I mean, yeah. why is how is that easier? <laughs> the lampshade, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How is that easier than wearing a mask? Like you can't even pour a beer in there. It's completely pointless. Yeah, because when can. man has a problem, man often looks to the animal friend beside him <laughs> to solve that problem. When steroids became a thing, we realized, oh shit, they make these for horses. And they're cheaper if I get them from Mexico. What happened? Well, Georgia, I don't know. Maybe the average bar is not that high. And people were like, shit, I can gun done get this from the, the veterinarian space. But really, all it prevents you from it doing is sucking your own dick. Like. Here's what here's what happened. Here's what happened. They are the Bulldogs. This was some sort of oh, like you're this right. was some sort of school spirit thing <laughs> gone wrong where people didn't think about how Protect it would, like a dog. It would make them look like fucking idiots. I, I, I think you hey, might. you know what Ugga's <laughs> gonna be wearing? A mask. We're gonna wear a dog mask. They should have gone with the muzzle. Uh, if I they thought, were smart, they would have gone. A muzzle that. would look. I still think you could bong that beer. You know what I mean? Just keep it up there for a little bit, yeah, floating around I, your neck. I, here's the thing, though. Again, it, coming back to my invention of a mask with the straw built yeah. in that has like a HEPA <laughs> filter that you could just put right there. We'd, we'd, we'd uh, be I, selling that out of these. I didn't things. think you, we'd ever mention HEPA filter on a on a on a uh, on a, on a yeah, sports just, gambling just podcast. Use the, uh, te- <laughs> use the technology they use in space, right? <laughs> exactly. They got it's it all figured out. It's worth it. But yeah, come on, Georgia, you're better than that. You didn't. Think it might make you look like a bunch of pussy hey. ass sex slaves? Well, the way they played, maybe they'll do it again. You know who looks like idiots? People who use other sports books besides mybookie.ag, the presenting sponsor of the Sports Gambling Podcast, the college experience, all the great contact content you hear on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network, aka SGPN. Couldn't be done without our good partners over at mybookie.ag. Use that promo code SGP to play, win, and get paid. Hundred percent deposit bonus. Kramer, plenty of props, plenty of picks. We give you the props, we give you the picks, the bets, all for free. Any sweet deposit bonus, up to one hundred percent deposit. Now, play, win, and get paid. I'm I'm smiling for two reasons. One, I love that song. Yes. Two. I, I have to start making a note that after we do the Sunday night recap show that I just have to re redo the, the audio equipment. Cause we're never juiced up Sunday night, even, even with the Eagles win. And I'm just watching you blast through 
blast well, through with this ad. Read. No, it's, just, it's a it's a compliment. It's like you know, twelve <laughs> hours of straight drinking does does work into a little bit of my I lethargy just, Sunday night. I love that song. Though. That Bring, song is a hype machine. Let's kick it off. Crack one open. Speaking of twelve hours of straight drinking, let's crack open the Colby Dant six pack. Is that song on Jock Jams? <laughs> it should be. It should be on Jock Jams. October 10th, 9 a.m. West Coast kick. Florida heads to Texas A&M College Station, Florida. Seven point road favorite. I'm sure you guys all saw the clip on uh, at Gambling Podcast <laughs> of me calling out Kyle Trask, Heisman hopeful. Sean, what's he gave funny? it out at 25 to one, and he's off to a great start. I only did that work selfishly because I even hit Colby up earlier. I thought we had called it out because we had had a conversation yeah. about it, and we both gave out Florida <laughs> as our kind of sec dark horse pick, but then we, we failed to name the Heisman bit and you threw it out. So anyway, the, the, the team threw it out, Sean, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, what do we see in Texas A and M here? Uh, they struggled so far. And I think that seat's starting to get some, some heat, $75 million oh, man. Jimbo. Yeah. Jay asked him about that. And he goes, well, before I came here. We weren't expected to win the game. Now we're expected to win the game. Like he was using that as his process. I mean, but, I, but I, Sumlin did win the game. Yeah, I <laughs> love I love Florida here. I'm I'm really off on Texas A and M overall. My only the only thing that scares me off a little bit is that who is taking Texas A and M right now? Like it, it just feels like even as a home dog. The public's not going to be back in this, so that's the only thing that scares me away. What are you doing, Colby? Well, I am taking Texas A and M, man. I actually think sprinkle some on the money line. Wow, here. really? I'm a big fan of Mike Elko, their defensive coordinator. I know Alabama just took them to the wood shop, and there's nothing you can wood do shed. about that. Yeah, wood shop, <laughs> wood shed. Wear, wear your glasses. Wood shop. <laughs> uh, We're gonna get you a spice rack. <laughs> my my oldest one is in wood shop right now. Wait, virtual yeah. wood they, shop? They have yeah, virtual man. wood oh shop. And long story short, tax short, dollars at work. Well, long. Story story short, you're going to be, this is going to really piss you off. Cause you, you hate my over tipping, but we, uh, you know, we're, you, we're, you tip school teachers as well. Yeah. Br- what well, do you tip a school teacher? Wh- what does a shop teacher? Well, get? we <laughs> thought it was a little ridiculous <laughs> that wood shop was going to involve no sort of wood shopping. Just looking at pictures of tools. Don't you get so some we may have, back there? We may have tipped some, uh, some, some kits so that kids could build shit. Uh, see, see what I did. There? How, how are you going to hate on that? Sean? <laughs> it's almost charity, but it's kind of a tip. Educational. You must take um, anyway. No, I'm on. I'm on. I'm gonna t- take him to the wood shop and uh, and teach him how to use, w- a w- use that Zaza. circular saw <laughs> and, and and watch as uh, Kellen Mond cuts through this. Ding. <laughs> no, that's a buzz saw. That's a- but that is <laughs> when you're talking about a buzz saw, you're talking about a circular saw, <laughs> right? You're talking Are about you? a guy. Yes. Uh, I, so, what not other a saw? saw? <laughs> no, chainsaw is not. I mean. Chainsaws a little all over the place. It t- sounds completely different. The buzzsaw sound is the is basically and again, you're probably talking about a lumber saw at a mill when you're Sean doing and that Ryan sound effect. Do saw sounds. <laughs> all right, Tonight. Kramer, uh, what are you doing? Or Colby, any more thoughts? No, no. On that? I, look, normally I love to fade Kellen Mond because he's never really been impressive to me. But I think Mike Elko, as I was saying, like I think he's a really good defensive coordinator. Look, as much as I I thought Florida, you know, they've looked great the first two games and, and, but they had South Carolina had a lot of drops, a lot of like poor execution. I thought there was opportunity there for South Carolina there to was. really come up. So I think a and M Fisher's seats hot. Elko's a good defensive coordinator. He's going to give easily the best defense, easily the best defense that uh, they have faced so far this year. So give me, give me the Aggies on an upset. Wow. Kramer. It's a very mature angle for you to be taking. Yeah, I just assumed he'd like be this. on this road. Chalk. <laughs> AM has some something going on on defense, but we used to play a uh, a trend uh, back in the day, Sean. If you remember the stamp fading teams coming off the game against Stanford and Bama, why did we do that? Because they get physically beat up. Now, while this is an opportunity to buy low on Texas A and M, I liked Florida coming into the year, and I think uh, much like fading the guy over over the shoulder here, Mister Les Miles, guy's named Jimbo. Jimbo doesn't show up in big spots. Jimbo is not is potentially going to show up here, but I like this Florida team. And I'll say this: I think Florida took their foot off the gas against South Carolina. Do you trust? And that's why that game got weird at the end. 
Do you, I mean, they covered for us. Do you trust Florida guy, is eight three and one against the spread according to Odd Shark last twelve games. You trust a guy named Dan or a guy named Jimbo in in a, in a woodshop class? You know, <laughs> Damn. No. I'm not. I, listen, there's one thing <laughs> Jimbo. Workshop class. One thing I'm going to trust Jimbo to do, and that's going to get me out of the fucking Appalachian forest. <laughs> Jimbo knows how to do that. Marshall heads to Bowling Green four thirty kick square off against Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers. Seven point home dog plus two oh five on the money line. Colby, what are you doing here? This line's been jumping around <laughs> like friggin' House of Pain, man. This thing was a two this was a uh this was a two point line, you oh, know. That was great. Uh, that, was great. <laughs> that was a great line. Give me uh give me uh Marshall. I just think they're they're the better team. Western Kentucky kind of been up and down all season. They're one and two, got their first win, but gave up the back door to Middle Tennessee. I just think Marshall's the best team in the conference USA. They make a statement here. They've had two weeks off. Have you been tracking how teams coming off the COVID rest I've been doing? <laughs> no, I have not. Well, Marshall's coming off the COVID rest. Yeah. And, and it, and it makes me wonder, oh shit, someone's calling me in the middle of the podcast. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, it makes me, it makes me wonder if, if that is maybe an angle we want to start looking at. Cause they are rested. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't heard too much about any of these players uh, getting seriously impacted from COVID other than just shutting things down. So I'm i uh, I'm going to zig on the COVID theory with, with the success of my Virginia tech Hokies going to say the extra rest, the extra preparation has them in a better spot. The thundering herd Colby, as they like to be called. Yes. Yes. How so about, we're, how we're all, we're all in Marshall. Yeah, man. I'm going to, I'm going to load up on Marshall uh, starting off with some road chalk. Hilltoppers. zero and three against the spread. And maybe this is the time to buy, but again, uh, from the like five plays I've seen of Western Kentucky, not really a huge fan of what they got going on. And yeah, I don't know. It feels like Marshall this is a good spot for them. Kind of on a bit of a run. So yeah, give me Marshall laying the seven moving over to Charlotte, the CLT. My boys came through for me last week, heading to Denton, Texas to square off against North Texas, North Texas, another home dog CLTs, the 49ers. Who? Uh, what was the score last week? They had. They should have won outright. They missed three field goals. They had. They had the ball. They like covered the seven point line. spread. FAU won twenty one seventeen, but they didn't. They didn't win outright. It's a hilarious game. The clips, like a monsoon. The 49ers, Odd Shark uh, projecting them to win thirty three to twenty seven. They're two and zero against the spread, but zero and two straight up. Do they have what it takes to beat the Mean Green, and will they cover Colby? Yes. Look, wow. I'm going to fade the air raid. And uh, Seth, wow. Seth Latrell, because North Texas has the worst defense in all of college football. Charlotte's going to exploit that. I like what Will Healy's doing with Charlotte. They're much better. They're zero and two, but they're they're a good zero and two. Give me give me Colby. Charlotte on the money line here. Colby, you you got to stand strong when you make when you have a thing that you're known for. You're the back to back college football fade guy, back to back road game fade guy. Not this season. I'm throwing all that shit out this season because <laughs> there's no fans. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick with it and I'm not going to defect from the air raid. We're going to go North Texas because Charlotte's on a back to back road spot. And and fortunately for me, you gave me an angle to play here because otherwise I'd be like, why the fuck are we picking Charlotte for the third goddamn week? Colby? I'm two and no ATS. I had someone complain about me taking Campbell, uh, you know, and I was like, Hey, I'm three and one ATS. How, how'd they do in that fourth road spot? They, they did. They did. They did w- wake, put them, put them yeah. in the dirt. Yardage wise, they that they, they would have covered if they just couldn't they just couldn't oh control the ball. Can we but, move on to the major conference portion? Yeah, I'm program? going also uh <laughs> Charlotte, the 49ers, minus three. Again, I think Colby nailed it. I like what I've seen out of this team. Haven't come in, haven't come through with a win yet. And I like I like teams that have covered not one yet, a little hungry, playing good enough to cover the spread, not win. That's probably a good time to hop on them and, and possibly buy in. Shout out to the new DFS sponsor, Thrive Fantasy. That's right, Thrive Fantasy. It's uh, it's kind of like your traditional DFS games, but instead of just picking a player and basing off salary, you pick the player and then uh, over under on their player props. Pretty fun. They got a ton of uh, contests for NFL, NBA, MLB. I, I know I've been playing the uh, NBA Final One. Was uh, having a ton of overs on Jimmy Butler, but uh, you know, Monday Night Football they just threw a contest out for that. They do some for Thursday night for the entire Sunday slate. They do some that are touchdown only. 
NFL is pretty fun. You they basically give you 20 player props. You have to pick out 10 of them, go over, under, and again, uh, it's just uh it's just another another nice little uh, thing to gamble on. Get a sweet sweat. They've given over fifty thousand dollars guaranteed prizes uh, each week and given out over one point six million. Again, this is the time. Hop in before the marketplace is flooded and uh, so a ton of good opportunities for these contests. When you head over there, make sure you use the promo code SGP. You get a 50% match on your first deposit or sorry, $50 match on your first deposit using promo code SGP thrivefantasy.com app store or Google play store sign up and prop up today. Use that promo code SGP second half of the six pack starting off Alabama. Ole Miss in Oxford, three o'clock kick. Alabama, of course, coming off a nice lock cover against Texas A&M for me. Colby, are we just? It, it, I mean, can anyone beat this Alabama team? No, they're the best. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, like, I, I was I was going to be on Bama, but the line jumped a little bit between yesterday and today. Give me Ole Miss in the 24 points because I think uh, Ole Miss has enough offense that when Bama calls off the dogs, much like you saw in the Missouri game. Yeah. Uh, give me a backdoor cover here. Give me a give me a fifty-one twenty-eight final score. As much as I hate to back Lane Kiffin, uh, he hasn't quite reached less Miles status, and this is a Super Bowl situ- spot for him. Yeah. Coming hard after uh, after uh, Mr. Saban and the SEC with the rat poison a couple years <laughs> back. Uh, in general, I think Alabama has laid some eggs in this spot on the road here, especially with a big game on deck. Who do they have next week? Georgia. Yeah, this yeah. could be a look ahead so, spot for this Alabama team, and they've even pointed it out with some of uh, some of old uh, Rat Poison's moves that he seems to be aware that the uh, the boosters and the people close to the Old Miss program like gambling on Old Miss, and will possibly <laughs> factor that into some of his play calling and what he does towards <laughs> the end of the game. So. I think uh, I think he's a guy that's aware of the spread, and if it gets close, he's really going to go for it. Colby kind of nailed it with Alabama, uh, you know, with the comparison to Missouri, where Alabama. I mean, they have such a deep roster; they like getting some of their young guys a look, especially late in huge blowouts. Did you watch that A and M game? Did you see that deep ball by Mac Jones? Whew, yeah, what a perfect pass. Just, They're just better. Yeah, but I I think that this is the this is an ultimate lay an egg spot for them. Yeah, I could definitely see Ole Miss getting Unless out to like a seven point lead. Saban's like we're not losing to this fucking twerp. Well, he's undefeated against his former assistants. No, I know. Yeah. I just yeah. think like of all the people, yeah, Saban's not losing to this asshole. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not losing. But I think twenty four for a road SEC spot, even for Alabama, a bit too high. In Ruston, Louisiana, beautiful Ruston, mm, four thirty West Coast kick. UTEP heading off against La Tech, aka Louisiana Tech, minus fifteen and a half on the money line. UTEP coming the other way, plus four ninety five. Dog, Colby, the UTEP miners are three and one, and yet they're a huge dog here against Louisiana Tech. What are you doing? Well, they shouldn't be three and one because I mean they're, they're the second worst team in FCS. Oh, oh. I got I got Monroe the worst, them second worst. Uh La Tech just got the tar kicked out of him by BYU. But La Tech, come on. Skip holds this team. They're gonna destroy UTEP. Give me give me the Bulldogs big. Isn't Kramer? that why you isn't isn't it a great spot? Coming off a spot. Everyone watched them get their ass kicked. It was a prime time game. Yeah. No competition. How good is BYU, by the way, man? They look They're good. They they I mean, great. Great. Did you see? That? Yeah, I mean they're great, but I don't know if I'm uh, UTEP. Not great. This is a fade of UTEP. Not, Definitely not a bet, yeah. but it's nice to have, be able to buy low. I'm, Sean's I'm, on the miners. I'm going to miners. Give me a little uh, nugget here. I, it's I, very blue collar. Yeah. Louisiana Tech. I, I think maybe there was a, a little something to glean from that decimating loss to BYU. Granted, BYU clearly in another class, but to get your ass kicked like that, I think there's something going on there. And uh, Louisiana Tech not great against the spread uh, in their home or last five home games only one and four against the spread when playing Texas El Paso something about those uh, UTEP miners coming in <laughs> real blue collar uh, team here I, I think it's close but I actually think they get the cover fifteen and, with, and a half and with these teams that aren't as uh, deep talent wise like maybe the worst team in college football uh, 
COVID might be a little bit more difficult to get through for some of those teams. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I give me tech. Give me tech forty. UTEP thirteen. Oh wow, that sounds like a possibility oh, yeah. of score a, predictions. Yeah, like, man, like, you know? can't can't go wrong with those. Last of the six pack, one o'clock West Coast kick. Middle Tennessee heads to Miami, Florida. Florida International, a minus four favorite. That, that's not an airport, Sean. Okay, I feel like I've flown <laughs> through Florida International. I mean, does that sound appealing as a school? Florida <laughs> International. Come on, it's like uh, I, I don't know. Middle uh, Tennessee. It's a shelk thing. It's Florida, man. Who knows what they're actually up to? <laughs> yeah, it's probably some. They're they're also like laundering money for the cocaine cowboys. Middle Tennessee plus one fifty dog, Colby Blue Raiders zero and four, but they're two and two against the spread. FIU only one game so far in the books. Feels don't, like feel, we've been feel like you don't have a huge. Uh, I don't know. This is weird because one team's played four. The only one, the FIU Panthers only played one. What's the lean here? Uh, I'm on the Panthers, man. Uh, Butch Butch Davis got this uh, program doing decent. You remember, you know, the, they're zero and one with a two point loss to Liberty. That's a team that's undefeated currently. Um, and, and just last December, they beat Miami. Yeah. You know, out of the, out of the mighty ACC. So I, I'm going to take Florida international at home. I think middle Tennessee is not very good. Uh, they've been getting better with Rick stock still as their head coach, but uh, you know, Ash, Asher O'Hara is a dude that I, I, I just can't trust his arm. Give me Florida international. And I think with a Florida yeah. international, they've had COVID problems. So we're not, we haven't seen a lot of them. So perhaps that's why we're getting, we're not having to lay seven points in this spot. So I'm, I'm with you. Florida internationals to play. We know what middle Tennessee state is. Yeah. Make it a clean sweep. The only thing that's scaring me off is right now, 86% of the money, Sean. Yes. We could have picked some really nice games this week. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about Florida State. No, no but we got it. We got to talk about the games that Colby wants. FIU, to baby. Well, I had the you. You were hitting on Sun Belt, so I was like, let me take you to four Conference USA games. Right, see, right. back to back Conference <laughs> USA games. Hey, the money's still green. <laughs> but moving over to the relevant games, Oklahoma, a two point road favorite in Texas. This is relevant. Why? Texas plus one hundred five. <laughs> Oklahoma minus one twenty five. Oklahoma back to back. Backbreaking losses, still a road favorite because Texas coming off their collapse against uh, TCU. Seems like two teams uh, you want to fade both of them right yeah. now, or, or at Cotton least what Bowl. we've seen. The Red so River far. shootout, dare I say. No, I think if they're calling it the Red River Square Dance, the Red River yeah. Handshake. What are we doing, Colby? The Red uh, River Handshake sounds like something very. Oh, sounds horrible. like a horrible be, be, sexual be, act. <laughs> Before we dive that into is this, a disgusting act. <laughs> Before we dive into this, what do we think, guys? This is the, the reason why we do the database top twenty-five over on the College Experience. It's because we're not biased. Uh, how is Texas ranked and TCU not when TCU just beat Texas? Like we just settled this Texas on the ranked? field. Yeah. What a crock of shit! And, and the, the top clarif- twenty-five. Is. Clarify, this is on a neutral field, correct? Yes, this is uh, yeah. in Dallas, Texas, at, at the, the Cotton, Cotton Bowl. Bowl. Herman yeah. is now leading the field when it comes to losing to unranked teams. Yes, and uh, as a ranked team, but I, I like I like him to get it done here. I think Texas is better than Oklahoma right now, so I'm going to take Texas. Why is Oklahoma favorite? Yeah, that's what I, I'm. I'm just having trouble wrapping my head around this. Based on what the fact that they've been good in the past. I at least know what their quarter. A Texas has a quarterback that I know can get it done, and a coach that I, I guess I'll still continue to go to the the go into the ring and get my ass kicked by thinking he's going to be a good coach. I just don't know if Oklahoma's even a good football team this year. Well, another yeah, thing is and Rattler, like, yeah, you know, breaking news. Rattler looks rattled. Am I am I right? Like he. He's, he's a freshman. I mean, he looks yeah. like a freshman. It, it's just the moment's too big for him. At least early on, didn't get enough. Didn't get any spring ball. I think well, we discussed oh, you this. Had in all the their preview. running backs opt out. They have suspensions. Their best defensive player has been suspended we for the first five games. Oklahoma yeah. has trotted out a seasoned veteran at quarterback for the last three plus years, and also and, a running quarterback. Spencer Rattler's not a. This, he's he's not a runner. And this was yeah. going to be different because it's a young guy, and and you know, like maybe the system's a little bit more complex than than the high school shit I thought. But yeah, not Texas a good look for the two. Big Let's 12. go. Not a good look for the Big Twelve. So everyone on Texas plus two o- clean OU sweep there. Hasn't hasn't in, in the Big Twelve since nineteen ninety eight. It's the last time they lost two games in a row. Which just happened. So now three games in a row. I mean, I don't think that's ever happened since they've been in the Big Twelve. I have to just really, shows really you all the dive. horse shit with yeah. the like the way that they they need to redo college football and do do it like this. Make it tough. Play conference games early. Yeah. 
Miami, Florida, a plus four seventy five dog as they head to Clemson to face Clemson. Clemson four thirty kick. Clemson minus fourteen. The Clemson Tigers roll over the Hurricanes, Colby, or, or does Miami have a fighting shot here? Uh, give me Clemson. I, I just look, Miami coming off a bye week. I, they might my, Miami might be legit, but based off of the sample size that we're seeing here, we, I mean, Florida State almost lost to Jacksonville State a week ago. They're of the FCS. We shouldn't we shouldn't care what Miami did to Florida State or or even Louisville because Louisville lost to Pitt. Pitt just lost at home to NC State. So how good is Louisville? Everyone seems very schizophrenic. I will say Miami better today than were when they started the season. I just think we typically see Clemson like multiple standard deviations away from even number two in the conference. I don't think Miami's going to be number two. If there's one thing I know about Miami is Miami knows how to choke when they're fucking the, the lights shine bright and they're seventh in the really, seventh in the country really right seventh. now. It feels a little high. Really? As we used to say back in my days in Blacksburg, F the U private. They're the ultimate private school pussies here. Now that, and now that I've uh, learned, I've been educated that Clemson is a land grant public school. <laughs> Let's go tigers, babe. Uh, two weeks from now, this spread would be 24. Also, that would be yeah, it does good. feel like Miami a bit fraudulent. Miami got pit next week. That's another bad spot to be. Yeah, uh, I, I like Clemson. I mean, I can I just feel like no one can really slow down Trevor Lawrence. He's going to be able to light it up, especially ETN at home too. Yeah, yeah. They have. I mean, it's funny because when you watch college football, you see a lot of good running back, or you see a lot of players that look like good. I running think backs. Mississippi State. One of the reasons why they lost was yeah, Kylan Hill got, got out. Yeah, the yeah. first possession. Then you yeah. watch it. You watch him at Clemson, and he just that, that's an NFL running back. Yeah. Well, and Kylan Hill too. Yeah, especially with the air raid, you need that running back to either give you a couple nice draws to kind of keep the defense off balance, or the running backs really involved in the passing game. And, and he was great, especially, especially with, at LSU receiving. And well, now that we have, Adam was giving them, and yeah. now that we have a pac 12 schedule, we get to see Borgie, Borgie, Borgie. Yes. Or, Max or, Borgie. Or, or, or. Well, and, and Colby pac 12 schedule out. I'm assuming the college experience, which if you're not subscribed it, it the link is in the uh, podcast notes. I'm assuming we're getting some sort of Pac-12 uh, schedule breakdown. We're, we're gonna do win totals, man. Oh, and, nice! And also real, Mount, Mount real win, win totals yeah. that seem to be happening. Yeah, and the Mountain West, Sean. Yeah. Don't forget oh, the and the Mac. I just haven't seen the win totals out yet, but we'll we'll figure it out before uh, before we go on. Anything jumping out at you? Pac-12 win uh, totals. Pac-12 uh, schedule wise, they're playing what six games? So, uh, it's gonna be seven. Seven. Okay. Um, but. I don't know, right? Well, I thought they, you know, these conferences have been protecting the big boys, um, but I, I, I really want to wait and see, because Oregon had a bunch of players opt out I, today when I was driving here. So they had a, what one of their best defensive backs opt back in. So I really need to see who the hell is going to be playing before I really make my my opinion on on who's going to win this conference. But the database needs more I, data. I, I like Arizona State. Uh, as a dog, I can tell you that uh, everyone's high on USC. They now the bad part is they 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 play in the first week. As so. strange as it sounds, uh, the the more the more that I think about it, the more that I, a, a coach like Herm Edwards is probably advantageous in a, in a season like this. Because I'm sure there's a lot of millennials are are just on the fence right now. This whole concept of the whole team being on part of the reason I'm willing to have makeup sex with Justin Fuente is. <laughs> That team is playing fucking hard. Yeah. yeah. And something is going on there to, to the point where they're playing fucking hard. You don't hard. want to be in this room. Here's the door. Yeah, Opt the out. Yeah. out. So uh, yeah, I don't know what we were talking about. Pac twelve. But, Pac-12, but, but, but right. uh, obviously we're 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 gonna uh, Herm Edwards. We're gonna Arizona take the State. over on Washington State, right? Oh yeah. Yes. We got we gotta talk to our boy uh, yeah. Nick Rovich, get him back on get the pot. Inside skinny. Tennessee right now, uh last of the top twenty five games, Tennessee. Is catching 12 and a half points in Georgia in Athens. 12 o'clock noon West Coast kick. Georgia a minus 12 and a half point favorite, minus 500 on the money line. Tennessee a plus 375 dog. Uh, call me crazy, but this Tennessee team kind of good. I, I love Tennessee catching this big number, possibly dog potential. Uh, the look ahead spot once again. They yeah, get Georgia. Bama on deck. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I definitely think Georgia could be looking ahead. And this Tennessee team feel like they kind of have nothing to lose. Seven, two, and one against the spread in their last ten games. Kind of flying a bit under the radar. And uh yeah, just like the way they've been playing. I'm 
I'm gonna I'm, look. Georgia's I, got a really nasty defense. That, that's what I was about to say. Like my, really my, 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 te- when I evaluate Tennessee, and You're I had breaking Allen Cooley's. Heart. I had them as a lock last week, so Cooley loved me for that part. Yeah, it was a great spot, um, and it cashed. But I, I need to see more from the quarterback. And when when you Guarantano, like now you got to play at Georgia. Yeah, I just think I could see a pick six or two Remind happening. Me, G- give me the Bulldogs. The, big. the SEC yeah. is maintaining their divisions this year, right? Uh, they are. Yes. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately you can't, it is a look ahead spot. And I would, if, if they, if they come out flat, it's, that's the reason why, but I'm going to bet they don't because I, I Georgia, it, we're only two week, a week and a half removed from them. Kind of not looking all that great. And yeah. we don't really know what Auburn's going to be. So Pre- I think this defense comes out and just because the defense is so good, this isn't a product of needing a shootout with an offense to cover a lot of points. This defense could hold them under 20. We'll probably hold them under 20. Yeah. And that doesn't make it very difficult to cover a 12 and a half. Pruitt points, still right? hasn't beaten an SEC coach with a winning record I, for Tennessee. I'm saying, you know, I'm terrified of the look ahead spot, but I'm going to lay the points. I'm very, very, yeah, that, that is the, the scary part on it, but give me Georgia. I think that they'll figure it out. And I, is it, I, I'm trying to pull it up, but uh, I think it was, I think it was Georgia that said they're now going to allow alcohol sales. No, that's LSU. LSU. Oh, LSU. Okay. I have that's it in my notes. Uh, not only yeah, they're Georgia number one in the country at allowing explosive plays on defense. So they're just an absolute lockdown defense. And that was the other note is clearly after seeing all those guys wearing the, uh, the dog collar yeah. masks, th- there was not a ton of social. How many people did they claim to get in that building? Because well, they might have a yeah. home field advantage. Yeah, no, that that and was like twenty. That, they that said the number was like twelve thousand. I was like, that's thirty fucking thousand people. <laughs> that was not yeah. twelve thousand yeah. people. And who uh who is it that got the fans kicked out? Uh, SMU. SMU. <laughs> that was great. That's funny to just get tossed from a uh, game for not for not properly distancing. <laughs> the whole fan, the whole student section got kicked out. You're all out of here. And then so what? They just all. Uh, violated the protocols in the parking yeah, lot. Exactly. Like, got uh, hammered. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, so much college football action. I mean, we're in the middle of the NBA finals, NHL. That's not still going on. MLB playoffs. Those are heating up. And of course the NFL just coming off a double header, Monday night football, Thursday night football, Sunday night football college. It's just going to be going on for so long. Perfect time to start your own sports book. Acepread.com slash SGP. I know what you're thinking. Hey, I got a little extra time. I have a passion for degeneracy. What should I do? Perhaps open your own small business over to acepread.com slash SGP. Stop trying to just beat the bookie and become your own bookie. Acepread.com slash SGP. Use that link and get up to six weeks free. That's right, six weeks of their amazing sports book software. You don't have to set the lines, you don't have to grade the lines. They do all that for you. Acepread.com slash SGP. Hale State bounce back spot for them this Saturday, 4 30 kick in Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky only a two and a half point favorite. This was dancing around three. Does Hale State get a uh get a bounce back win here, Colby, or at least cover the spread? How do you feel about uh how I do you mean, feel about the Bulldogs? I've locked Kentucky two weeks in a row. And what, they, what they, they, they are the Detroit Lions. What did the they see? What has what did they, they do? They clearly look a bit cursed. I mean, they should be two and oh. They should be two and that oh. That player giving the yeah. peace sign yeah. and, and then, then he gets tackled and, and then fumbles fumble. like two plays later. And the, the they missed the extra point in overtime. They had to blow a fourteen point lead. I mean They I, also the refs, like w- weren't they the team that got yeah. they clearly scored Auburn. the yeah. touchdown? They should be two and oh. They have been better than their opposing team. Both weeks and the, somehow no, managed to lose. Both weeks they had yeah. plays where they were in the end zone and they didn't call yeah. it a touchdown. Right? Yeah, that was a touchdown on that fumble. I think this past week. Um, so, so something's clearly floating around the Kentucky waters. Not sure what's going on there. Mississippi State probably good to take to the road. When I saw that Mike Leach bandwagon video, I was like, oh god damn it! They're, they're like, I really was upset. We had to pretend that we had to pick them last week. Well, I'm going to so put them on. Spot. I'm going to put them on every week. I, I think know. They're, I, they're our boys, you know, I appreciate that, but we don't uh, have San Diego state to put or Kentucky, Waz- but when you look at Kentucky, they're a team that's undervalued, right? They now. are, they are, but is it coaching? I don't think it's Kentucky's. Co- I mean, maybe, uh, maybe they, on the, the play the where there is, is th- happening, then? the receivers just slowing up, but I'm saying on, on the other, like missing the extra point. Is that coaching? It's gotta be something. I, I I think this is a great bounce back spot for Mississippi State. Friend of the program, Coach Leach, probably 
uh, reminding the players that uh, you know they should be listening to the coaches and not their fat little girlfriends. Mississippi State plus two and a half, great bounce back spot for them. And uh, Coach Leach just said it. Ky- uh, Kylan Hill looks like he's a full go. Uh, he's important. He's clearly their he's, most important. Player. He really helps get that Game air raid going. And I think uh, AJ Costello, like they, I think there's a ton of stuff in practice that they can work through. Of just like don't press. Take what's given you. Take those easy stuff. Find those windows. I'm optimistic. And again, this Kentucky team seems cursed. But I don't. Think I'm we- not taking cursed teams, right? So give me Mississippi State plus two and a half. Look, I I want everything tells me to take Kentucky here, but the the way they've burnt me money the past two weeks, and you know I can't fade Coach Leach. Hail State, baby! There you go. Hail State. <laughs> He State. was gonna go Kentucky too. No, no, no. Yeah. Are Are you going Kentucky? Right? No, no, no. Yeah. I, I, what I was gonna say is whatever, whatever the opposite of having a horseshoe up your ass is, that's what they have there in Kentucky. They're a good team. And, Kentucky's a good team. And honestly, I think if you try to duplicate what Arkansas did against Mike Leach, it's gonna be a bad game plan. And Mark Stoops, I, I don't know. That I feel like he could do that. And and I think combine that with the fact that this team, cliche as it is, they don't know how to win. Well, and also, I mean, if if Mississippi State can just not throw a pick six in this game, I think it's I, I think good, it's a huge swing. <laughs> huge swing. All right, nice little game here in Fort Worth. TCU a minus seven and a half point favorite, minus three hundred on the money line. Kansas State plus two fifty. K State currently in first place. Yeah, and yeah. don't look now. K State a solid team. Love them catching seven and a half. And this to me is more just a bet against this TCU program. Much like we should have faded Mississippi State coming off a big win, TCU coming off a big win against this Texas team. Love KSU catching seven and a half. Colby, are you on board or, or do you think uh, TCU is so much better? Well, I, I'll tell you this, man. I had uh, I had a few. Uh, I had TCU winning the Big Twelve, and then Max Duggan, when he went to get a COVID check, found that he had a heart murmur or something, some type of heart condition. So then I was told he was out for the year. So then I, I bought a future for Oklahoma state to win the uh, big 12, which is still looking decent, but uh, I'm Duggan came back and you know, they, they probably would have beat Iowa state week one. Had he not, he had, he played in the first half. Cause in the second half, he, he, he lit up uh, or lit up Iowa state. And then you saw what he did last week. Uh, one thing to keep track of for this game is Skylar Thompson going to play for K state. Uh I don't know that answer. So at the moment, give me TCU. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to say wait on, uh, on betting Kansas state, because I, to me, it's a situation spot fading TCU more than K state. So I, if he is ruled out, I think maybe this bumps up to 10, even 10 and a half. I love it even more than uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be honest. If he's playing, I like yes. K state. Okay. But I, I at the moment I it doesn't look good, so I would say. Uh, Wait, I'm sorry. Who are we talking about? The quarterback for Kansas State, Skylar Thompson. Probable. Yeah. Oh, upgraded. To okay, probable. give me K State then. Give okay. me K State. Yeah. Easy enough, Kramer. Are you riding the K State train? Can I give you one more thing to t- one, talk one, about when it comes to re- Kansas State? Real quick, Ryan. Seventy percent of the money, according to Odd Sharks, is on uh, Kansas State right now. That is a little what scary as a public me, dog. Well, I mean, they did beat Oklahoma. Yes, week one. What I like is they didn't fall flat the next week. No, yeah. I don't. know. Depending on how you feel about Texas Tech, I, it's not the best win, but they didn't fall flat there. It is the best win when they're when your quarterback gets knocked out of the game and your back. They still comes won and the game. The yeah. Kansas State is a scrappy team. We all we have often compared them to Virginia Tech. Yeah, the, the ACC. block as you saw in the Oklahoma game with the block punt. That's like rarely right will alley. this team go away quietly into the night. So I, I love that you can get seven and a half points on this one. So we're all on Kansas State. That's. We little had, concerning, is it? No, I'm just saying it seems like it's Kansas State is such an obvious play, especially with their quarterback looking like he's a go. Louisiana in Lafayette, Louisiana. Top two teams in the Sun Belt, and we got our Sun Belt Sun specialist Belt expert here. right yeah. here to break I, down this battle against Coastal Carolina. I have an announcement. Yes, Ryan. Or I have a, a announcement slash question. What? Um, I thought the NCAA made a rule about no more colored fields. In that blue field in Coastal, how the Conway, fuck South did Carolina? that get through? <laughs> Sean, have you seen this? Which one, Coastal Carolina's well, blue field? Is, yeah. No, it's not blue. It's aqua. It's teal, <laughs> and they wear teal uniforms. 
And it looks like it. It looks like if someone created a oh fucking God. franchise believe, in franchise well, mode. Well, I yes, believe I what happened was they had that aqua field even before, okay, and they so jumped they, up. They, they grandfathered yeah. themselves in. That is a serious. They wear their teal uniforms on that field. It's a disguise. Massive home field advantage. <laughs> they're not at home this week. And they're going down into Cajun country. And I'm I'm guessing at this point, everyone's seen this fucking field and been like, fuck you guys. I'm fading that field just on principle. I am the specialist, but this didn't need any specialization. Go Google that fucking field. Yeah. I'm seeing it now. You. It's horrible. Fuck your basketball program. From <laughs> I'll on. take Louisiana minus seven. I'll defer to the uh the Sun Belt expert in Ryan's opinion no, I'm here. I'm not an expert. I'm a specialist. <laughs> okay, sorry, specialist. Sun Belt. Well, Sun Belt specialist does sound better. Get a little alliteration there. Yeah. Kramer, get, what do we do? Or uh, uh, Colby, the Danta base. Are you are you riding with our Sun Belt specialist? I'm riding with the Chanticleers. I, I think Grayson McCall, Ooh. freshman. This kid's got f- what, uh, including this year, five more years. I, I I'm almost inclined to believe he's going to end up at like an SEC school. He's so good that give me the Chanticleers and the points. I think they stay in this game. I love their defensive line. I've been loving the way their D line's been playing. I think they're going to, I saw that they're going to hang around. <laughs> like they beat your boy, less miles. Why, why should I fade the Chanticleers? So, sometimes um, there are issues that need to be binary. And in this case, we just, I, <laughs> here's the, here's the assignment. We're never talking about we're, coastal Carolina is going into the, the abyss. We're not talking about them anymore. That field is an abomination. Like that's if you show you're not Sean, would you show your father that field? No, that's, that's gross. <laughs> I don't want my dad knowing I'm dabbling with teal fields. <laughs> I mean, come on. You know, these, these, these players, they have fathers. You're expected Son, to- you've been in California too long. <laughs> like how many, how many, tr- how many coastal Carolina players on the team? Don't tell their parents that they're on the team. Cause they're embarrassed about that field <laughs> or the fact they're a Chanticleer. Like you're not having your dad come watch you play football on a fucking ballerina carpet. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, uh that is just a violation. I'm gonna go though to a game. Look, Les Miles comes to Conway, South Carolina next year. I think I might be now, at how that does game. the NCAA not say no, you have to change this. <laughs> this it does Because like, they're they can be like, Hey, Boise's got blue turf. Eastern Michigan's got gray turf. Yeah, but it's it's that whole thing with they have to understand how televisions work and colors. Like Eastern it makes Washington has a red field. So that's fire. Yeah. Boise State's <laughs> field is fire. Teal, not fire. No, because it it kind of looks like grass, but it doesn't look like it grass. It looks like I, my TV's broken. Dude, with yeah, that, no, with, it's very confusing. Like you watch the game. I'm I'm rem- I'm remembering now, like flipping like, through and but, seeing it on, and just assuming. <laughs> Something was up with well, the color. They're the the Chanticleers, you know, like the chickens. I say they should one up it and put a bunch of feathers on the sidelines. So when you get like pushed out of bounds, like feathers kick yeah. up. Every, you know? What everyone needs in their <laughs> life is more teal. <laughs> Not gonna beat that. Time for the lock dog tees presented by mybookie.ag promo code S G P. Ryan, I'll let you kick things off. You always let me kick things off. Yeah, it's some sort of tradition we have going here. What's so, your lot? It's so strange. Uh, I mean, uh, to me, uh, I'm going to do something very controversial. Uh, Ole Miss is my lock. They're covering Ooh. this number twenty. This is Lane Kiffin's Super Bowl. Yeah, it really. He, know, he knows he's tell, not. We got to tell Coach Leach he's 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 going with the the Rebels. You know, <laughs> we, I'm not picking against Coach Leach. Yeah, I'm, this isn't I'm, the Egg Bowl. <laughs> I'm picking for Lane Kiffin, and what is his super? He knows he's not going to win anything this year. This is a massive game and, for him, and, and he does seem Lane seem like I said. He, he knows the points, but he, know, he pointed knows. that out earlier. So <laughs> plus twenty four. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to be enjoying this sweat as Alabama is just destroying them. Uh, for my for my dog, I didn't take a lot of dogs this week, but I I'm, I will still maintain and give you a large dog here. Give me Kansas State I, again. I I was very shocked to see the spread here, because if there's one thing I've learned in the Big Twelve so far is we we don't know what any of these teams are. We have no idea what any team is in the Big Twelve, and because of the way they play, there's so much variance. Give me plus two fifty for my tees. We're, I mean, just get Coastal Carolina, uh, or I'm sorry, fade Coastal Carolina. Bring it down to one. Down to one. Down to one. Uh, Texas up to eight. Mm. Because again, I don't know why Oklahoma is favorite at all. And give me Georgia down to six and a half. I like it. 
I like and it. a bonus lock, Ryan. The, the tease. Hold on a second. Did you see that? I got I got approval from the tease man himself. The teaser. Well, maybe it's it's karma because we always give Colby shit for not like practicing good teaser strategy, yeah, and yet no he's strategy. the one dominating yeah, in the teases. He, uh, and yet he's the one who who is dominating for my bonus lock. Uh, there, there are lots of interesting spots we could have talked about in another conference ex- ex- with tons of variants right now. <laughs> but uh, we, we did conference USA, you know. But why, why would anyone? I don't care what you think of Notre Dame. I am not a Notre Dame fan. I'm going to say that first and foremost. But how you don't want to fade Florida State right now <laughs> against a team that sure they haven't looked great themselves. Sure, you might have to lay a big number, but Colby. Is Florida State one of the worst? I mean, teams? they look horrible right now. But but I mean, they go to Notre Dame road that, spot. Duke looks horrible too, and Duke stayed around though that game. That's all right. I don't care what's happened in the past here. I'm just I'm gonna fade Florida. Here's the plan from now on. We're gonna fade Florida State every week. <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. We should have started this three years ago. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't. Yeah. But I, I'm finding a niche. Unfortunately, I don't think I have an opportunity to fade Les Miles this week. So I have to move on to the next best thing, <laughs> and we're going to fade Florida State. When's UMass getting their program back? Uh, I believe uh, they, they said they wanted to start the twenty fourth, but I haven't seen an official schedule yet. Kramer, what is what's the line on that? Uh, twenty one is what I, I don't. I'll, I'll look up at my bookie while you guys make your picks. Okay, Colby, what's your lock? My lock is going to be the Charlotte CLTs. Look, it, stop it. Kind of makes know? me hungry for a BLT every time we talk <laughs> about this team. Give me them, my, uh, you know, to get it done. Forty Niners laying three. How about your dog? My dog is is Texas A and M. I think they're they're going to win outright Ooh. against the Gators, and uh, you know everyone will back plus off, off the Gators. Yeah, plus, plus one ninety five money line. All right. What do we got for a tease? A tease wise, here we go. Let's take uh, let's take La Tech down to what is that nine and a half? Yep. And let's take Texas up to eight. Yep. And where are we at here? Let's go with, uh, you know what? I'll take, I'll take Georgia down to six and a half as well. Georgia down to six and a half and a bonus. Look, lock. I, I rode with East Carolina and they got the tar kicked out of them you last know, week. Th- they did get the tar Guess kicked what? out of them. Double down on them. They're catching four. I believe. Can you double check that for Colby. me against South Florida? Colby. Th- they're getting the win this week. Colby. This is they're getting happened. four and a half against the give South me, Florida Bulls. Give me ECU do, plus do, four and a half against the Bulls. Do we need to throw the challenge flag? <laughs> <laughs> Die hard like Bruce Willis, guys. Back my Pirates. Let's hear from you, Sean. Lock Kansas State plus seven and a half. My dog. The Alan Cooley special. The Volunteers upset Georgia nice. in a look ahead spot plus three seventy five. <laughs> need a big dog to get off the Schneid. Tease uh, Mississippi State up to eight and a half, Clemson down to eight, Florida down to one, and my bonus lock since they are now allowing alcohol at the stadium. Love this. I love Death this Valley will I be like rocking. I like that LSU play. minus twenty and a half. Coach Ed O gets it done after uh, after insulting the Tigers by picking Vanderbilt as my comical yeah. uh, long shot dog. By the way, I think I nailed that score, didn't I? Say forty two to to to. You were, Zero or forty-two to seven. You were close. You were very yeah. close. You were close. And and Kramer, do we have a spread 21. for your you, bonus? Let's lock? just throw a twenty-one. Okay. All right. Make sure. Uh, wow, guys. Thank you for participating. Oh my God. Hail State Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Hail State. Hail State. Make sure you subscribe to the College Experience, Colby. What can people expect on the College Experience? This is going to be a great week because not only are we doing our week three picks on Wednesday, you're going to have a breakdown for that Tulsa or no, Tulane. I'm sorry, not Tulsa. Tulane and Houston on Thursday. Oh, can't wait. Louisville, Georgia Tech on Friday, wait, and is then Houston finally going to play again. I, uh, don't jinx it, man. <laughs> don't fucking jinx it. And then obviously we're going to break do little solo pods as well, breaking down some of the big marquee matchups mm-hmm. on Saturday. Day. So make sure you subscribe to the college experience for the best. Look, we haven't had a losing week. You know that as a combined, we haven't had a losing week yet this year. Cash money, baby. Money. Straight cash, homie. And if you're into uh, playing DFS, college football, oh, yeah. DFS, you definitely want to head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash slack to and chat it up. Nick. Chat it up with the uh the Damp brothers. Yeah. We've been the fucking been, the lords of the college football DFS, the Bash is, Brothers of uh, college football <laughs> DFS, right. and the D Gen Fantasy. He's League. Conseco. I'm place. McGuire. Right? Hashtag <laughs> <Dejans only. laughs> Gotta get these guys tested.
All right. And uh, while you subscribe over at uh, college experience, leave a five-star review and leave a five-star review for the sports gambling podcast. Just gave out the winner of merch Monday. If you leave a five-star review and uh, follow us on Twitter, so you can see when your review is picked for some free merch. Want to do that for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green and he is Ryan. Go Hokies, hail state and go Cougs. Kramer. Let it ride.